Hello and welcome back guys. Uh, and this tutorial is going to be really quick. It's going to be about how you can use your UE4 animations on your UE5 character. Um, the first thing you're going to check on your content browser, you're going to go to the folder characters, mannequin UE4, meshes, and here if you have this uh, UE4 skeleton, that great. If you don't, uh, go to import, not to import, sorry, to add. Uh, here on add feature content pack, here on third person uh, template, and you're going to add to project. So that's going to add a new folder characters if you don't have one, and you're, it's going to be added a UU4 skeleton to your project. Now, um, I created this folder here called animations. I'm going to drag and drop the my UU4 animation that I want to convert to the UE5, blah, blah, blah. And here on skeleton, I'm going to choose the UE4 skeleton that I've just showed you, that I've just showed you. Uh, I'm going to click on that. I'm going to import all. And here I have my UE4 animation. Um, great. Now I'm going to save this. Uh, I'm, gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to the third person map and I'm going to search in the content for RTG. And as you can see, I have three different ones. Uh, I use this first one to retarget uh, metahumans. Uh, this one is to retarget UE4 uh, skeleton animations uh, to the UE5. So I'm going to choose this first, the second one right here. Uh, I'm going to, uh, as here as you can see, you have different options. You have the target preview mesh. You can choose, if you have like a custom mesh, you can place that in there. Uh, I'm going to choose Quinn. Wait, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to let it empty. I have to let it empty. I forgot. Uh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's just let it quen for now. Uh, go here on Asset Browser. I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, the animation plays uh, of the UE5 skeleton static mesh as well. Uh, you have to pay attention to the mesh to the hand especially if the hand is a little bit low a little bit high you can uncheck this option here called retarget ik so that as you can see it just lowered my hand a little bit down so you have to pay attention to that to this option here so uh, you can mess around with these options and see which one works better for you um, so after I've done with the changes, you can click here on export selected animations. So what, what that's going to do, it's going to basically convert and retarget the UE4 animations to, to be compatible for you to use with the UE5 character. So I'm going to choose the folder that I want to my character, my uh, UE5 animation to be in. And here I have my UE5 animation. It has the root bone extracted as well. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed, and I see you in the next one.